Hi everyone, this is Rebecca Decker from Evidence Based Birth, and I just wanted to show you really quickly how you can use the Joint Commission's website to look up breastfeeding rates at your local hospitals. Starting back in 2013, the Joint Commission made it mandatory that hospitals that have more than 1,500 births per year in the U.S are required to complete the perinatal core measures. And that's just a really fancy way of saying that hospitals are required to report to the Joint Commission certain things, including their C-section rates for low-risk women, their breastfeeding rates, and their early elective delivery rates. So that's elective inductions or C-sections before 39 weeks. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you how you can find the breastfeeding rates and the early elective delivery rates. I spoke with someone from the Joint Commission just recently um, and asked when the C-section rates were going to be available, and she said that um, actually because that's considered a certain kind of outcome, and they, they usually don't publish that, however, they're having serious conversations about whether or not to make those available to the public, and so I'm hoping that those will be available to the public eventually. So now let's go get started. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to healthcarequalitydata.org. And this is where you can download the data. So you're gonna to have to download a spreadsheet in order to see your local hospital's breastfeeding and early elective delivery rates. So I'm gonna just take a second and fill out my name. And I am requesting data as a consumer. And I'm from evidence-based birth. And I'm gonna pause this really quickly while I fill out my address. Okay, so I submitted my address and my email address and phone number, and then I clicked next, and then I came to this data release license. And so this is a license agreement between you and the Joint Commission. The Joint Commission is the accrediting body that accredits um, hospitals in the United States. So, you know, basically read through the, the terms of the agreement, and if you agree with them, click I agree, and click next. And then please include information on your how you to plan to use the Joint Commission measurement results, the intended audience, and the plan distribution of the measure results. So um, I am going to release breastfeeding and early elective delivery results to my blog audience evidence-based birth. Okay. So then I'm going to click next. And this is the part where you're gonna select which date you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my own state of Kentucky. I will say that it has worked for my state of Kentucky. I have not tried all of the states. One of my colleagues tried California and said she had um, problems that not all of the breastfeeding data was there. So it may be that they're doing the state by state and they might not have gotten to your state yet. So then you're gonna to get to which aspect of care you're interested in, and you're gonna be interested in perinatal care. So click perinatal care, and then click next. And then these are the ones you're interested in. I'm interested in early elective delivery, exclusive breast milk feeding, and exclusive breast milk feeding, considering mother's choice. So this last one is where they're looking at exclusive breast milk feeding during the hospital stay among mothers who intend to breastfeed. Then this rate, exclusive milk, breast milk feeding, is among all mothers, whether or not they intend to breastfeed. Um, antenatal steroids has to do with um, mothers who are about to have a preterm birth, and I'm gonna skip that one just for right now. So now it's going to ask me what I want. I'm gonna want the yearly data, and I'm gonna want an Excel spreadsheet, and I'm gonna go ahead and click go. So it says go here for your report. So I'm gonna click here and open up my file. And here is, I do wanna open the file now. And here's the file. So um, this may be a little bit diff difficult for you to look through if you, you know, don't know exactly the names of the hospitals you're looking for, but I am looking for um, hospital in my hometown that I know does 1,500 births per year, and that's Baptist Health Lexington. Now there's a couple of different Baptist Health here, so I need to know the address. So the address of the one I'm looking for is this address right here. So let's go ahead and highlight these because it'll make it easier for us to read. So what we're looking for
You can see they have elective delivery, exclusive breast milk feeding, and exclusive breast milk feeding considering the mother's choice. And then we're gonna see um, the actual rates. And so these are percentages. And then they're gonna, you're gonna be able to compare it to the nationwide top 10% and the nationwide average. So the nationwide top 10% of hospitals have a 0% early elective delivery rate. Um, and the nationwide average is about 3.59%. When we look at this hospital's early del elective delivery rate, they're doing pretty good. They have a percentage rate, so you move that decimal point over two places, and that would give you a rate of 2.43% for their early elective delivery rate. Now, when we look at exclusive breast milk feeding, so this is their total, so this is during the hospital stay, they're excluding babies who are in the NICU, they don't include babies that need formula for medical reasons. So you take out all those babies and you look at only babies um, who don't have medical reasons for formula and who are not in the NICU, and um, they are giving exclusively breast milk feedings to 50.5%. 76% of the babies. That means roughly half of babies in this hospital who do not have medical indications for formula are given formula during the mother's hospital stay. Um, you can see nationwide the top 10% of hospitals have an exclusive breastfeeding rate of 7.37% and the nationwide average is 49%. So they're on average with the rest of the nation but they are definitely below what they could be. Now, when we look at only at exclusive breast milk feeding considering the mother's choice, so these are mothers who intend to breastfeed, their babies are not in the NICU, their babies don't have any medical reason for formula, 66.3% of those mothers exclusively give breast milk to their babies during their hospital stay after birth. Um, we compare that to the top 10% in the nation, they have rates of 90%, and um, nationwide average is 64%. So, I mean, 66% sounds okay, but you still gotta remember that that means one out of three babies whose mothers intend to exclusively breastfeed are given formula for no medical reason during their hospital stay. Um, so anyways, that just gives you a quick glance of how to look at these statistics. You can also look at your statewide average and um, your statewide 10% and the statewide average. So the, the best hospital in Kentucky has an exclusive breast milk feeding rate of 95.6% among mothers who intend to breastfeed. So that's what you're you know competing against and then this is what you actually got was the 66%. So I hope that was helpful and I would encourage you to look up your own hospitals breastfeeding rates and early elective delivery rates and talk with them you can talk about this with other people in your community um, now that we have this data it's transparent we can compare and see you know how different hospitals are doing and where is there room for improvement so thank you so much for listening to this tutorial and i hope you are able to find your hospitals early elective delivery rates and breastfeeding rates